Aloha y bienvenidos to Hispanic Hawaii. I'm Richard Concepcion, your host. Today's program is about Jason Exclusive. She's a hip hop artist, and C, a blogger, an entrepreneur. She takes her time to create music and she dedicates her time to promote others within the music industry. She was born and raised right here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and she has a unique style. And she credits the style to her own personal experience and creativity. Jason, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. All right, let's start it by <coughs> telling me a little bit about yourself and share with me some of your experience growing up here in okay. Honolulu, Hawaii. Okay. Um, well, my name is Jazan Exclusive. I'm a hip hop artist born and raised here in Honolulu, um, third generation Filipino American. Um, and really, uh, just growing up in Hawaii just gave me a really different experience because I know a lot of people don't get to grow up going to the beach, hanging out with family, and it was very interesting that <clears throat> there's a hip hop community here now um, sharing our stories and things like that. So that's kind of how it all starts off for me. Mm -hmm. That's good. So you have made your influence how you live here in <coughs> Hawaii, mm -hmm. right? So let me ask you, uh, any of them made you influence that inspire you either within your family or another artist okay. uh, that is a hip hop artist uh, yeah, yeah. with your style and the way that you, you know, present yourself okay. at NC? Okay. Um, as far as musical influences, I grew up in the late 90s to early 2000s. So I was really into like Nelly, T.I., um, kind of that wave of music <clears throat> that happened during that time. Um, and just very highly influenced. My parents were kind of young parents when they had me. They were in their early 20s when they had me. So they were listening to rap, reggae, all kinds of different stuff. So I was just always influenced by music that way. Um, as far as content and the things I speak about in my music, it, a lot of it stems from growing up with my single mom, um, Jessica Balané. She's a loan officer here in Hawaii. Um, and she's been driven. She, she's basically like her own entrepreneur and that kind of just infiltrated into what I want to do and what I chose to do now. So tell me how everything <coughs> started. How you got involved with this, you know, music, you know. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me the whole thing. I want to know. Yeah, yeah. So what happened was when I was a junior in high school back in 2009, I was invited to spend about uh, two to three weeks at the UC Berkeley through the Pana Institute. What it was, it was this program called Represent to Witness, or R2W. They don't have it anymore, unfortunately. Um, but what it was is like a leadership conference for um, colored and multicultural youth. Uh, so Hispanic, Filipino, Asian, black, um, all over from all over the United States between the ages of about 17 to 22. Every night during that two to three week period, we, we had to um, pick an art form, whether it be singing, dancing, or writing poetry um, to talk about what we learned during the day. So we went to different housing projects to learn about the different communities in um, the lower income areas in California. Um, we did just a lot of community work generally and a lot of like different um, sociolo sociology and things like that. So just learning about different social aspects and um, I can't really sing. Um, I do play a little bit of musical instruments, but I'm, I don't really consider myself a musician. So the next best thing was spoken word and pretty much as soon as I learned spoken word, came back home after that summer and kind of just started recording um, poems on GarageBand. Eventually I was like, you know, I like poetry, but I like rap a lot better. Um, I just like the music and vibing and it's a totally different feeling than just doing poetry. So um, I would say like my poetry is in the rap. Mm -hmm. So it's different style. And why do you select <laughs> to be a rapper and know to do something different, mm -hmm. just sing all the type mm -hmm. of music? I think what really gets me about hip hop music and um, rap culture in general is that it's just very like it's very honest and it's in your face whether you like it or not. Um, whether it's talking about partying and you know um, the kind of stuff that hip hop kind of talks about um, women and all this kind of stuff. Um, but at the same time, uh, as an artist, I speak from my truth. And I feel like at the core of it all, that's what hip hop is all, all about, is just speaking your truth, whatever it may be. And now we live in a time where it's not just gangster rappers, it's not just um, black kids or Hispanic kids. It's a movement that is all over the world. There's 
hip hop in the Philippines, all over Asia and Africa, like all over the world, even in Europe and um, Spain and things like that. So um, it's just cool to be part of the new wave of um, how technology has changed the industry and stuff. So. Kind of where well, I'm at. So, sometimes they <laughs> give the rapper, you know, a bad reputation. You know, some of the rappers mm -hmm. are well educated, mm -hmm. and some of them, uh, like you, you know, you write poetry, and it's yeah. coming straight out from the heart. Yeah. So, you graduated from HPU mm -hmm. University, mm -hmm. and uh, you was invited to perform for the HPU uh, competitions. Yeah. And you always had the opportunity to to go to LA, and you participated <laughs> in the team backpack competition. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about that competition, LA. Okay, so in 2015, I represented Hawaii in the Team Backpack competition. Team Backpack is basically a huge platform where um, they have like a Facebook, a website, social media. They're really big on social media. And what they do is they basically host, well, they used to, they host a cipher draft, kind of like Mm, like a rap Olympics sort of okay. thing where you're, you go to LA or New York City or one of whatever city they choose. You spend about three days there auditioning in front of judges, rapping, networking with other artists. And um, honestly, for me, what I learned from that was that it's not really about the competition. It was about the networking and building relationships. So that was the really big thing that I took from that. Um, what I would like to say about that particular experience is that what I did was I created like a GoFundMe campaign and I only needed about $1,200 to fly up there and take care of my food and um, hotel and stuff like that. But I actually raised like close to two, two grand. So with the extra money I had, instead of like blowing it or whatever, I decided to invest it back in my business and that's how I started my website and my blog. So that's kind of what happened from there. So you think it, <coughs> that backpack, team backpack competition mm -hmm. have made you influence of where you are right now? Oh yeah, um, like I said, it, I learned that um, a lot of times, what's it called, up and coming rappers, they get caught up in the competition or getting the shout out on social media or winning this, this and that to get internet famous and stuff. And I just realized that, you know, it's not necessarily about that for longevity and to take it seriously, it's about um, building the connection and that's the biggest thing that I learned there coming from Hawaii being a female artist being from Hawaii being Filipino and brown and stuff like that <laughs> um, That was it was just really cool to be in that environment where everyone is just really trying to create and connect So all right, that's yeah. perfect. So let, let's watch the video. Okay, we have a perfect. Qu quick video You know about you in the competition. Yeah, cool Gate. See you guys soon. Y'all got my official name tag. Shout out to everyone here at Mission Underground. Can't wait to meet everyone. Peace. Doing this. Sinatra, nor Shakespeare. Let's be honest, we don't know how long we'll be here. Don't believe in fairy tales. I love that video. I see the <laughs> crowd so into, especially mm -hmm. when you say from Hawaii, <laughs> yeah. very supporting. Yeah. So let's talk about the HPU performance. Okay. So you graduated from HPU yes. and yes. you was able to perform for that free show. Yes. And I want to know what it was running to your mind when <laughs> you was walking to stage to perform in front mm -hmm. of your peers and friends. And uh, what was the reaction of the crowd and the message that you were sending mm -hmm. to your fellow friends? Okay. Uh, well, first off, I have to give a huge shout out to Hawaii Pacific University and the Student Life uh, Program there and their partnership with Hawaii Theater because they host their annual talent show, which is called The Freak Show. That's for students and faculty to kind of just have a fun night and perform and showcase their talents. Um, I started doing that in the, I think, the spring of 2014 and pretty much from that point on, I performed for the next three years as a student 
while going to team backpack and things like that. Uh, but then this year, um, this past March, I actually got called back, since I'm already graduated, I got called back to be kind of like the closing act. So I went from being like, you know, just part of the lineup to being the main act at the end of the night. So I was just really humbled by that experience and just to be able to perform in, um, in front of the HPU students. And they're a really super cool crowd, so I just, I always like it. And it's really cool that I get to, I've gotten to perform at such a historic venue um, being local and being a student and everything, so that was really fun. Hey, that's an inspiration <laughs> to the <laughs> students as mm -hmm. well, you know. So let's watch the video you okay. perform for the school. Perfect. Always had me breaking up from the people I love Years later I did my best to keep the vision alive Crazy now even my friends is like Homie you right, you better take it from the bottom All the way to the top And show them that Hawaii kids can make it up on this rock Don't need to talk about passion Just put it to action Cause practice and patience gets you farther than talent Break it down. Hey. A couple years ago, I went and wrote my first poem. Hawaii kid in San Francisco had a problem with boredom. Never could just keep still. Always had to do something from writing a drawing to something worth loving. Thinking back to old days, waiting up for my mom. Coming home from night class, I'd open up the garage. Turned off the car and parked it, she greeted me smiling Didn't have to say nothing, said, baby, keep trying Next morning, waking up, grandpa knocking on my door Said, Jazan, go on, get ready, grandma made breakfast, I'm sure At the time, I didn't know what was happening Now that I'm grown, I have these memories I wish we could go back again, but all that in God's plan was leading me here I don't know what this really is, I just put music in your ears And I'm hoping that you love it this one's for all my siblings and all of my cousins Know that I can't carry the world, but I can make your burdens lighter These words carry love that can lift you up higher And to anyone you lose in your process Remember that without struggle, there is no progress That was great. So tell me, what was the main message? Because you finished with saying that we got to struggle in order for <laughs> you to grow What do you mean by that? Did yeah. you have a lot of struggle in your life? And that's what we the whole song was that about? <laughs> um, so that song that I performed is called Roll Another and it's actually a remix to this other Filipino Canadian rapper named Pride. He has a song called Roll Another. I wrote my own lyrics to um, wow, his song perfect. and stuff. So um, basically um, a lot of my music and that song in particular just talks about the different struggles that I faced uh, growing up and stuff like that and I just like to put it out there to inspire people that you know no matter where you come from no matter your parental or financial situation that you come from, you can do whatever you want. Um, and it takes taking the, the step, you know, taking a leap of faith um, and just working hard. And um, I mean, that's why I'm here today and why I'm talking to you. And I'm just really grateful for the opportunities that have happened in the last couple of years, especially for music and stuff. That's perfect. Okay, we're going to take a <coughs> quick break. Okay. And um, when we come back, we're going to continue talking story cool. about Jason All right. Exclusive. <laughs> have this crazy thing going on today. I was just walking by and all these DJs and producers are set up all around the city. I just walked by and I said, what's happening guys? And they told me they were making music. There were a lot of people that claimed they had no musical talent and then sat down and kind of made some really nice sound. So we do it. Uh, welcome back. We're here with Jason Exclusive Talking Story. 
So let's talk about your new release, Palm Tree. Okay. Why the title of that? Okay, so the Palm Trees EP is actually a collaborative EP uh, between me and my friend Young Dedicated Proper, also known as YDP. She's another um, Bay Area based hip hop artist, entertainer, uh, videographer, another very talented young female out in the Bay Area. Um, I met, actually met her at Team Backpack. So we've been kind of exchanging, you know, doing a little different songs here and there for the last two years or so. And um, back in, I'll talk about this a little later, but back in December, I went to go um, visit the Bay Area with my mom and then me and YDP shot a video. And, you know, we kind of just always vibe together with each other. We have a very similar message, kind of um, just very similar on a lot of artistic levels. So we decided to kind of put our fan bases together. Um, put our resources and all that all together and we created palm trees um, it kind of started off as like a 420 styled EP but what happened was um, she actually tra tragically lost her sister during this process oh. a few months ago uh -huh. um, and we decided to continue pushing the project so on one of the songs money we actually um, kind of like tr attributed that song to her, to her sister um, Rashonda Franklin and um, that's why we say in the money song, we say diamonds are forever. That was kind of like her tagline. That was like her Instagram name and things okay. like that. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what's happening. And really why we're pushing this is because we're pushing the, the funding and the different sales we get from merchandise and from this project is going to help build the college funds for her two sons who are still alive. So, oh, wow, that's yeah. a great cost. Yeah, so... That's kind of what Palm Trees is all about. So how many yeah. songs is in, in the Palm Trees? Yeah, so Palm Trees is just an EP, so it's four tracks. Okay. It has um, my single, Morning Vibes, which you guys are going to play, and then um, YDP's single, uh, My Year, and then it has our two collab tracks, Money, that I just mentioned, and Jammin, which I just put out a promo video for last night. So it's all on my website and stuff. So let, let's talk about that one, mm -hmm. you know, Morning Vibe. T tell me. Tell me about that about which one about yeah. the first one you know the vibes Mor morning okay. vibes yeah. yeah so morning vibes um it wasn't initially supposed to be on palm trees but um as we were figuring out what solo track to put on to kind of showcase our own style uh -huh. um, i just decided to choose morning vibes because it kept the 420 um kind of laid back type of vibes i wrote that song kind of when i was graduating college last year so just kind of like letting go of a lot of stuff and just um, detaching for detaching stress and from stuff. <laughs> um, and then like I said, we shot the video in the Bay Area, so that was really cool. Yeah. All right, let's watch the video then. Perfect. Wake up in the morning and you know I'm feeling hella fly Hit up with the wake and bacon, now your girl is extra high Honestly, I'm not the type to try and go and tell a lie Big brother, always watching, revolution won't be televised Who am I? Who is I? What I'm trying to do? Hit the bong, cheech and chong, only after you Hit me up, I pull up, who you trying to fool? This my song, turn me on, let's do what it do I can tell the new people around me trying to get up all in my level Hydroponic, supersonic, so high I ain't really finna settle down Downtown and I hit the scene going loco off of that loco Up in the cut, don't give a Drinking out my cup is red solo Taking a dip, taking a hit Homie, I'm lit while I'm telling you this Take care of your kids, hide all your shit You head out and catch you a lift Cause they finna come and then stress comes We all working towards that lump sum And I done done some that I'm not, um, uh, uh, never mind that, give me that. Oh, wow, you have so many different <laughs> styles. So every song and, uh, you know, and the palm trees mm -hmm. have different rhythm and yes. different beat and yes. different styles. Yes. Oh, wow, yeah. perfect. So let's talk about your new single. Okay, perfect. The name, The yeah. Real. The Real. Okay, so The Real, um, first thing, um, Palm Trees is actually out now on Spotify, iTunes, all digital music platforms, so you guys can just search it up, Young Dedicated Proper or Jazan Exclusive, whichever one okay. you choose. Um, what's it called? So the reel I actually released kind of alongside Palm Trees EB, kind of like my own um, solo follow up to the to the collaboration EP. Uh, this one is produced by Bombs. He's another uh, Filipino 
a rapper and producer from Kalihi, but he, he currently lives with his family right, in yeah, Las locally. Vegas. Um, he's kind of like a pretty well-known um, MC in the Hawaii scene and like in Las Vegas too. Um, so he's been an inspiration for me for a number of years. So it was really cool to work with him as a producer. He actually also did the artwork too. Uh, so really just a cool. lot of, I mean, you know, a lot of artists, they're just multifaceted. So that's really um, kind of what inspires me to do it. But the real, I guess, lyrically, is kind of, it has like a more gangsta vibe. And I'm just like talking about how dope I am and stuff. <laughs> um, so I'm just um, saying that, you know, I'm doing it for the real reason, which is like my own reason. Um, I, I do it for, um, you know, my own self, my own family, uh, my, own, my own reasons. So, and that's what I feel like. Um, hip hop is all about staying true to yourself and um, just keeping it real. So that's what you're very about. passionate about it. So you're <laughs> real to the real, right? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about being a blogger. Uh, right. You do blogger and cool. that keep you really, really busy. And mm -hmm. how can you keep, you know, a straight, <laughs> easy life, normal life? I would yeah. say that blogging all the time. What's blogging is all about? Yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, what is the OTD hip hop? Okay. Okay, so like I said, back um, after the team backpack thing, I told you I raised money from my GoFundMe uh -huh. campaign. I put the money, extra money, into building my website and my blog. So I design and edit and upkeep my own website and blog. Um, what I like to call myself is that I'm a freelance creator. I create music. I create, okay. um, you know, written stuff and articles and blogs and stuff. But I also curate. So that means that I help facilitate other artists and pr promoting their own stuff. So... Um, OTD Hip Hop stands for On The Daily Hip Hop and eventually I kind of see myself branching off into other different stuff um, but basically OTD Hip Hop is just a platform and blog for other artists from all around the world to um, feature their music, uh, their videos, I do track reviews, um, all types of different stuff, album reviews, I do full length features, I write artist biographies, I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, mean, that's, so I mean that's what I went to school for, um, I went to school for marketing. Um, I interned with BAMP Project for a semester, so I learned a lot about the music and then just doing music in general. So um, I just always felt that Hawaii lacks a, um, what's it called, a, uh, a platform for artists to put their music out just the way they want to. So, yeah. So you're busy <laughs> creating music. You're mm -hmm. busy promoting all the wooden yes. music. So tell me about this year you got the promoted award from the SCM. Okay, yeah, so the SCM Awards I actually found out through my friend Ali Cat, who is another um, Hawaii-based rapper, um, but she actually lives back in the Bay Area now. Um, but she's a really good friend of mine. She was actually part of the Morning Vibes video with YDP in the Bay okay. Area. Um, anyway, she told me about the SCM Awards and she, she actually, um, what's it called? Uh, sponsored me or um, voted for me for promoter of the year. Actually, I think it was supposed to be like blogger of the year, <laughs> um, but I guess somehow in the way it it, it kind of turned into promoter of the year. So that was really cool because I'm like, wow, that's I don't even really consider myself a promoter. Uh, but because I guess I promote a lot of artists on my own and on my own platforms, um, that's why um, I was nominated and voted for. Super cool for that. Um, there was a lot of other local artists too. Um, SCM is a program in Tennessee, I believe, that is kind of similar to Team Backpack where they give artists a platform to get recognized for their work and stuff. Um, so we had, I think, um, Rude Boy Radio, which is um, Shango and Lamar Mack here in Honolulu. They were voted for like best internet radio or something like that. We also had a bunch of other local artists um, from Hawaii. All right, yeah. perfect. Well, mm -hmm. I've seen that you're very busy creating music and video. Let me show uh, the video from the last okay. six months, a few, you know, Perfect. video that you created yeah. a few songs. Let's watch cool. that video. Hey, hey, I 
How you like me now? How you like me now? Like woo. How you like me now? How you like me now? Like woo. How you like me now? How you like me now? Like woo. How you like me now? How you like me now? Like woo. Goddamn. I've been up way too long writing these songs. Be singing along, chief in the herb, passing the bomb, keeping it real. That's worse to my mom. It's another day, another argument. Honestly, it seems to be what the problem is. So Praying that it'll burn us out of this They ain't got one clue how hard it is Put my money in my life and my heart in this But all that, it's a business 24-7 trying to get rich Trying to buy a house in my hometown Time to take my shit Oh now Can't spend too long staying local I'm trying to see the world global I got this shit down to a science Online cause I'm always replying Back to back, and work back to that Even took a trip up to team backpack LA, that was 2015 2016, I was getting high feet 2017, time to see the Philippines. Isis, like Isis, that Isis, that white man gon' guide us. Once again, my people be brainwashed, turning up. Love got me hella rich, uh. Making music effortless, yeah. You stay with me through the whole damn thing, uh. It was just a dream. We'd be watching Wheel of Fortune, steady doing our own thing. Cause you gotta get to work. They asking me to sing. I might just catch it all so I could buy you anything you ever wanted. Here we go, arguments, real love challenges. I guess it's just the art of it, the heart of it. Loving me, loving you, yeah. Been waiting my whole life for someone to get my heart too, straight up. Why you be like that? Hey, baby, why you be like that? Just relax, relax. Why you be like that? Hey, baby, why you be like that? Just relax, relax. Why you be like that? Hey, baby, why you be like that? Uh, yeah, I never smoke cigarettes, hella cloudy silhouettes Know you got hella stress, hope I still make it uh, But your eyes done cried too many times over me I'm just trying to be everything she never was Everything she didn't do Fighting every excuse, can never ever lose you What you saying? I love your videos, I <laughs> love your you. production I wish I had more time to show <laughs> every video that you created so far but let me ask you the last question okay. before we say goodbye. Okay. What is the future of Jasen? All right. Um, right now, I'm just really trying to continue building my brand um, as a performance and recording artist. You know, I record all my own music. Um, I don't really produce my own beats or whatever. Um, but like I said, you see on my on my videos, I record from my own home. Um, I outsource like videography and stuff like that. But um, I just do a lot of different things. I'm really just trying to elevate my brand. Right now, I'm the owner of Skylex Entertainment, which is kind of like the company that I'm using or music label that I'm using to push all of my music and entrepreneur endeavors. So from um, my music to my blog to my actual my visuals company that I just recently opened to is Third Eye Films. So I do some headshots for small businesses and artists. So I'm just doing a lot of different things musically, with media, with marketing, just trying to monetize all of my different skills. Um, and I just continue to keep building on top of that. So really, that's what it's all about. So if somebody mm -hmm. want to get in contact with you, mm -hmm. how they can do that? Yep. So you can check me out. Pretty much all of my social media is Jazan Exclusive. Um, and then on my website and blog, JazanExclusive.com, really everything is all on there. Yeah. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming to Hispanic <laughs> Hawaii you. and share with us, you know, your experience mm -hmm. and your talent. <laughs> well, it's time for me to say goodbye and thank you so much for being with Hispanic Hawaii. And don't forget, if you miss your show, you can go to Think Tech Hawaii and rewatch it there. Or you want to get in contact with me, you can write to me at richconcept at gmail.com. And thank you so much. Aloha. <laughs>